This is the video complement to Chapter 3 of my Home IT Handbook, which you can download for free at wifiguy.net, the site that helps you go from computer novice to home IT guru. In this video, we're going to cover how to set up DHCP and DHCP reservations on your wireless router. If this is the first time you've ever watched any of my videos, you may be wondering, what the heck is DHCP? DHCP is not something you normally have to set up on a wireless router. But if you plan on doing a lot of configurations, it's a good thing to get out of the way initially. I go into great detail about DHCP in my first video. Basically, all DHCP is a pool of IP addresses that the wireless router uses to give out to wireless and wired devices connected to it. There's something called a DHCP reservation, which means certain devices with certain MAC addresses will automatically receive an IP address that you specify, which is a very handy configuration that we'll get into later. To set that all up, you want to have a DHCP scope well defined on your wireless router settings. On this wireless router, DHCP is considered an advanced setting, which you'll find under Network, and then DHCP Server. On this wireless router, the DHCP settings are fine the way they are. The same goes for many other wireless routers. This is one reason why many wireless routers just simply work out of the box. Still, if you're planning on doing some advanced configurations later on down the line, this is something that's good to get familiarized with. Okay, so let's just take a quick look at this. The way DHCP is set up on this right now is the IP address pool, which means the available IP addresses on this wireless router starts at 100 and ends at 249. So that's like 150 IP addresses that are available. Anything below 100 can be used for manually set static IP addresses and reserved IP addresses. If you scroll down here, you'll see the section for address reservations. To create an address reservation, the first thing you'll need is the MAC address from a device. So let's just grab this one here and click Add. So the MAC address is this and we want to give it an IP address that's below 100 so let's just give it 192.168.0.25 give it a name so the name for that computer is Caesar Click on this and click Save. Now we have a reservation. So what will happen is the next time that Caesar is rebooted, it will pick up this IP address. Now another interesting thing you can set up with DATP reservations is you can specify the default gateway, you can specify the DNS server, and the secondary DNS server which are important because that's how a computer finds its way on the internet. Okay, now I don't want to leave this the way it is because this may mess up one of my computers. So you've seen how that works. So let's just get rid of this and save the configuration. Thanks for watching. This video is one section of the much more complete video above. These videos are part of a video series I'm creating to complement my free ebook, The Home IT Handbook. You can download it for free in the link below. I hope you got something out of this one. If you did, please do the YouTube doinky doink. -de -doink.